hey 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 and welcome back to my channel it is Ashley here and if you are new hey girl hey so today I'm going to be redoing these two end tables that I picked up from the Goodwill and honestly they're perfectly fine like this if this is your style but I'm going to be giving these a fresh new look so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do as usual is I'm just going to start to wash down this piece making sure I'm getting any of the spider webs, dust, dirt or anything like this off of this piece so we can get it prepped to start working on it. So now for my top, I'm just going to start to spray on a liquid sander and I'm just going to rub it in a circular motion to remove the varnish. All right, so this is what it's starting to look like after I have rubbed off most of the varnish from the top of this end table. So now I'm just going to start to remove my hardware so that we can do the same thing that we did to the top of these end tables to the two panels in the front. Okay, so now I'm going to use my liquid sander again for this front part. I'm going to be rubbing it in a circle of motion just like I did at the top. Now to do this, you can use your liquid sand glosser, you can use your stripper, or you can use a palm sander with a lower grit. It all depends on your preference, but for this one right now, I'm just going to be using that liquid sander. Okay, so what you can use is I like to use water or you can use the afterwash um, from Goo Off, but you want to wear a mask when you're using that stuff, um, but just spraying it around where you've already worked on so you won't have a sticky residue around that surface. All right, so now I'm just going to take my painter's tape and I'm going to start to tape off the areas that I do not want to get paint on. So that's going to be these front two panels and then the top. take my critter sprayer again I will have this link down below if you're interested in it absolutely love to use this thing and first I'm just going to spray on a coat of primer onto both of these end tables Now I'm going to start to spray on my actual color that I will be using and this color is Cashew by Waverly. So now I'm going to take my palm sander and I'm going to start to sand the top. I believe I was using a 150 grit sandpaper. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure that probably is what I was using. But I'm just going to sand my top here and we're just getting it down to the raw wood because I'm not going to actually stain it. I'm just going to seal it with polycrylate. So now what I'm going to start doing is giving both of these end tables an aged look. And to do that, I'm just going to start by coating them with my clear wax. Now you're going to put the clear wax on there first because it's going to kind of act as a barrier for that dark wax. And it's actually going to make it easier for you to be able to remove any dark wax that you don't want. So here I'm just put, adding on my dark wax on top of what I've already done with my clear wax. And you can build up areas with more of the dark wax if you want. 
or you can go light with it and then what I'm gonna do after I do that is I'm just going to take my clear wax and my scrub pad and I'm going to use this as basically an eraser so you can see there it's erasing off that dark wax so you can go as light or as dark as you want it but the main thing that you want to do is just make sure that you put your clear wax on first before you put your dark wax on All right, and to give this piece that boho vibe, I'm just going to add this stencil here that I picked up from Walmart. I think I paid like $1.50, $2 for it. And I'm just gonna be using my stencil foam brush to apply it. So now I'm going to take my palm sander and I'm going to start to distress my end tables. I feel like the quality of this video footage right here is going to look terrible, but I had to like blow up the file size, so bear with me. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to take my microfiber cloth and I'm going to start to buff out my wax. I feel like I never really show this part, but if you are using wax, you want to use that microfiber cloth to buff it out. And then now, like I said earlier, I'm just going to take that polycrylic and I'm going to add it to the top of the end tables and those front two panels to seal it off. Bum, 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 bum. And we're all finished. This is the finished product. So one thing I forgot to show is the feet of this piece. So all I did was I painted it with a metallic moonstone and I just taped off the portion that I did not want to be painted. And I actually painted the hardware the same exact color. I honestly think this is a nice little upgrade from what they were before. Very vintage, boho, aged, chic, vibey thing going on here. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below to let me know what you think. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll always be up to date with my latest tutorials. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.